to 27. Hi everybody, I'm Dana Durnford. I'm going to be your host tonight. Um, having a great day, as possible. You can call in at 709. No, that's right, you can't call in. We're on YouTube. You can call in though, when we're on Rumble, so take down the number. Oh wait, no, that's right. You can't do a live stream on Rumble or YouTube. Not because they got strikes, because the nuclear industry has so much influence, they either ask the, the demonic, sadistic entities at YouTube to censor me and rumble. So consider subscribing, like, and notifying. I'm not sure if that'll actually work. Oh, there's YouTube right now. How's it going, you sadistic little maniacs? YouTube is completely stupid administration. They got uh, lobbying groups they got there right now. I can't stream on YouTube. Not because of officially YouTube banning me, no. I can't stream on Rumble. Not because Rundle of Rumble is officially banning me, no. No, because I talk about nuclear. And pff, I'm honest, that makes me a liability apparently. Speaking of a liability to 8 million species, should it be a criminal, should it be criminal for the International Atomic Energy Agency to claim Fukushima never released anything, only 2.2 grams? This is a poll we had a few days ago. Normally you get a lot more votes, but again, even live stream. These shows are unbelievably difficult to do on top of that. Just... It's cruel to make me record it, convert it, upload it, render it, babysit it. So if you take this 1.3 grams of flake and divide it by 22 times, that's 0 0.06 of a gram. So that works out too. And that's how much they're going to dump out of a thousand tanks a year of tritium, they said. But the, the problem with it is the buildings are actually gone. You can't, you can't read tritium signals when everything is contaminated by uranium, plutonium, the biggest byproduct is curium isotopes. Even if it was just iodine-129, it'll still drown out tritium-3H, which they haven't admitted to a single time, I notice, since July the 13th public relations sustained campaign. They, spent about a, they, they said they spent around a billion dollars to promote this particular lie. That if you divide that coin by 16, 1 16th of that 1 gram gold coin, 1 16th of it is 0 0.06 grams, and 6666 uh, appropriately, and that's what they're going to release each year, they say, from 1,000 tanks at Fukushima, and that nothing's got out of the buildings. And despite the fact there's two more of these buildings that had eight fuel pools are missing, and I can't comprehend how the entire planet can sit in silence or promote that narrative, including all the protesters worldwide, when the buildings are obviously gone. And because they killed the Pacific and now the Atlantic, it's on its, they're all on their way here. All the birds, all the whales, all the species have shown up emaciated for many, many years. And many, 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 many research expeditions for many months at a time that quantifies these assertions. Greenpeace will refuses, refuses to show these pictures, refuses, Sean Burney and the rest of them refuses to say that the billings are gone. They're, they're the most powerful entity that's supposed to be the ones that are doing my job. With the influence and prominence worldwide and the monetary funded by donate buttons and all the mainstream medias to Greenpeace. Just about all mainstream media got a donate button to Greenpeace because, you know, they're so loving. If you look at the nuclear wars that the Americans done to America, and this is America done it to themselves. It's not Russia radioactive fallout. This is American radioactive fallout. And this doesn't do it very good justice. But this is, this is nothing compared to what Fukushima's got done. But the, the amount we're talking about of the inventories is significant. 
the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, which is created by Manhattan scientists and passed on to that hideous legacy to keep this bird brain industry and the media regurgitates everything that they claim. They got an article, what should, why should Japan stop? Why should Japan stop its Fukushima nuclear wastewater ocean release? As vice director and professor at the Research Center for Nuclear Weapons Abolition at Nasagi University. Well, that's pretty interesting. But he's also the former vice chairman of Japan's Atomic Energy Commission, writing articles for the Bulletin of the Scien Atomic Scientists. It's the equivalent of a farmer, whenever he sees a uh, group of wolves, to go down and open up the gate pen so they can go in and kill all the sheep. That's the equivalent of having that guy as somehow your arbiter of facts. Now a member of the advisory board of the Parliament's Special Committee on Nuclear Energy since 2017, post-Fukushima. Now listen to what he tells you. You know why they got these contraptions built around it? They're hollow contraptions. They don't want no one to go up and hit the tank, and then the tank makes these big, like, echoes because it's empty, right? That's 100% why they're doing that. The tanks are actually empty. They haven't stopped hemorrhaging it into the ocean. I don't know if you noticed, but the fucking buildings are gone. And you got everybody worldwide, every organization, every media, everybody having a conversation about tritium and the thousand tanks, and none of them has to acknowledge the buildings are gone. TEPCO announced that it had, it has, started treated water treated 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 you get what they're doing this pure brainwashing what you're looking at you can't treat it if you could you wouldn't have to quantify like that and everybody would use the equipment right everybody would have a great big fucking help system at their nuclear disease factories worldwide treating 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 treat what do you think they're up to when they do stuff like that? Desperation. They want you to say that word so bad, they got to put it in there 20 times in every article. Quoted in a National Geographic article, which is Rupert Murdoch. One of the most loathsome people in humanity's history. Eventually, the world would recognize was Rupert Scumbag Murdoch whose news of the world media used to hack children that were kidnapped or, or, or by sexual predators or murdered and weren't found yet. They would hack the child's phone and then listen to their children or family's desperate messages and then put that up in the newspaper to keep the whole country distracted from tritium and tritium and stuff like that, yeah? Lack of public trust. The Bulletin of Unconcerned Scientists is lack of public trust. The speech given by Prime Minister Shin, Sh dead Sh Shinzo, he should call it. <laughs> Only good thing that's happened in the last couple of years. Before the International Olympic Committee on September the 7th, 2013, when he referred to the city where the Summer Olympics were to be held by saying, some may have concerns about Fukushima. Let me assure you the situation's under control. It has never done and will never do any damage to Tokyo. Never done any damage to Tokyo. <coughs> We're talking about radioactive fallout from multiple nuclear meltdowns. D you don't need to know what M E equals M C squared is to understand how stupid it actually is. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to understand any of the stuff I'm trying to educate the population on for 12 years with the documentation for all of my assertions and, and months at a time in research expeditions showing an unprecedented event. And not only have I been treated like a like I'm 
a criminal or evil or something for being friggin' honest, which has been magnified through the, the scumbag public relations firms worldwide. This is your, this, the only way you can look at, a, at somebody at YouTube or new pro nuclear. That's how you, that's what they are, right? The dis destruction of humanity so they can make the greedy little pricks can make a few bucks. Click the button, you probably won't work, but you can, you can consider chopping up my videos. In fact, I've done it for you a couple of days ago. I put up around 90 or 100 little clips that are less than a minute. Get out there, get busy, get a conversation started. You think I can do everything? Why ain't the world getting busy? Who are you waiting for to tell you? That, who are you gonna, who, who's it going to take for you to chop up a video and put out a chunk of the pie so the world can start having your conversation? If Spider-Man or the Hulk does it, because they're owned and created by the nuclear industry and indoctrinate your loved ones, the same as whatever those creatures are, or that one, or this one, or that. They got so many distractions. The children... I have no idea what a hero is. They think it's GoPro or, or, or a guitar hero or something like that. There's no accountability. There's no checks and balances so they won't be evil. We've got to go back to the day when we dealt with our issues. Instead of worshipping characters of nothing. Your grandparents are your heroes, your your aunts and uncles, your friends, your brothers and sisters, your your parents, for fuck's sakes. TV is diluted it to the point where now it's just a figment of everybody's imagination. It's got to have a cape, or it's got to it got to look like a wolf, or it's got to be the Hulk. The Hulk for thirty and still going strong. People buy those costumes of Spider-Man and the Hulk for their children for Halloween each year to further denigrate their ability to know right from wrong. It's called social engineering. It's unbelievable. But for them to claim and not correct and not show any documentation to counter it, they just do... Here. These... It's just a fraction of the media, but this is major medias and, and their useful puppets pretending they're in a building that don't exist. And then, so the first thing he should start out with is we got real concerns, the buildings are actually gone, everybody including himself are faking the building. How many times the Bulletin Atomic Scientist showed you that picture? Not a single time. I made it up, I put it together, right? They could have done a much better job, couldn't they? All the technology they got. No. Nobody done that. After Abe's speech, like this didn't just have. I had to fucking learn how to do everything because it's important. It doesn't just happen. Nothing I do happens. I have to work at every single facet of every single thing that I got to get it to work. It's mindless. The first time I tried live streaming on YouTube was like 30 attempts with the quip, and so we can do. Normally, we done a decade like this where we would just live stream it. On the 24th, the same day, they allegedly start dumping water from buildings that don't even exist anymore. For 12 years, didn't exist. August the 24th, they claimed they're releasing the first of the releases into the environment. It's almost too much to take. How stupid everybody actually is. And how evil those who are in the know actually are. It's terrifying how sadistic your universities and medias, all of it, symmetrically, actually are. The people in positions of authority are not even people, for goodness sakes. They look like people, but they don't have any of those attributes, do they? They covered the whole planet in heavy, perpetual radioactive fallout and came out, pretended nothing happened, and now claiming 12 years later that didn't even happen. Now it's only 2.2 grams of tritium, but don't worry, it's in a thousand tanks. They're going to release it over 30 or 40 fucking years from something that don't even exist anymore. 
They're just pouring water over the remains all day at a rate you can't even comprehend. I'm not even going to bother to try to explain it to those who don't know any better yet. Straight into the Pacific all day. You can't put it in tanks because it's covered the whole planet 12 years ago and it has never stopped. And Shinzo Abe done the same thing. If anybody deserved to be executed, it was definitely him. After the dead Shinzo Abe speech, the government took over the responsibilities for the management of contaminated water. So that was 2013. So for 2000, and the importance of that statement, by the way, from such a prominent spokesperson, was TIPCO, which is not a decommissioned authority, was in a position to cause great harm to humanity, the eight million species. I'll, sh I'll explain it to you. Before I lose my fucking mind. Why ain't anybody else telling you this story? I can't comprehend it. 2014 TEPCO can't bring contaminated water issues under control. The uh, ELP system has yet to work. And to 2014, a, a year after Japan took over, three years after, three and a half years later, uh, the Riva system hasn't been used either. In 2014, 13, they admit that the Siri system, S-A-R-R-Y, we never heard of it after. You can't separate cesium on the scale of what we're talking about in any shape or form. Because you put 200 million atoms on the head of a needle, that's what we're talking about, and you can't see it. And you think you're going to take 100,000 of them that you can't see on the head of a needle out of 200 million, and filter that out, and the rest of it is going to go somewhere else. Really? Really? And where's your evidence that you have technology that could actually do something like that? Because you can't. You can't filter out the atoms, for fuck's sakes. The plant has already released enormous amounts of highly contaminated water from the plethora of leaks. There's no leaks. The billies don't fucking exist. How can you call it leaks? How does that actually work? How can someone look at that and say there's a leak? How do you how do you not stomp their guts out when they say it? Is I can't comprehend it. They hoodwinked you every step of the way, and nobody challenged it. Oh, oh, we're going to build a bypass, bypass operation, but they didn't do that. They're, they're going to build a fence. They didn't do that. They're going to build a nice wall instead of a real wall. Okay, fine. But why would you build a nice wall, and how come it didn't work? Because there's no top and no bottom. The nothing got out, but yet the Americans flew over at any time at 1,000 beckles a square meter above the ground, at, or at 3 million beckles a 1,000 feet above the ground for endless... Like we're only acknowledging iodine 131 for goodness sakes. So now you got to divide that by 600 isotopes. Well, TEPCO is still responsible for decommissioning operations. TEPCO, who's just a corporate personhood. How come Toshiba's not in charge? How come nuclear industry's not in charge? How come the non regulatory agencies are not in charge? It's nuclear, for goodness sakes. Since then, all policy decisions have been treated. Treated water that can't be treated, despite the fact that that's just a cover story. The buildings don't even exist. They won't even acknowledge that they're pretending they're in buildings that don't exist. You're in real danger. You've got to wake up. You've got to get educated. You've got to start talking about it. Japan and Mongolian leaders, D 
discuss Vivant Tourism, Tourism Hopes. Japan's leader, you know, the guy who's saying nothing ever happened. And that they're just releasing the water as of August 24th, 2023, and that nothing's got out of the buildings. Same as all the other endless parade of morons that they paraded in front of everybody. They go through prime ministers in Japan like their Pepsi cans or, or toothpicks. Kishida explained the discharge of the tritium containing water, treated in water, and hopes that they'll support Japan's position on the matter. This is the nuclear industry, not Japan. This is all coordinated by the International Atomic Energy Agency, which is not an authority. They're a corporate personhood of UN, which is a military industrial complex. And they're now taking over all decisions making in your countries worldwide where you're sitting home jerking off to fucking cartoons. Japan and Mongolian leaders discuss tourism. China law professor raises concern. Now, they're showing you a picture early in the day when they were spraying water on the stump on the ghost of Reactor 3. And if you look from the other side, this is what it looked like to your right. Hang on. I'll zoom in. How about that? Just in case. There's no, there's no reactor three. There's nothing left. The building was a hundred and it was as tall as uh, reactor four. There's nothing left in reactor four. You see that red contraption that they got? Hang on. Which is a cement pump truck. Not a water pump truck, but cement. It's very thick stuff. So it's not meant to pump water, and, and it can't. And the idea was you put a hose on it. The reactors need 4,500 tons of water, a million gallons a minute in normal operating conditions. But obviously, that's put there simply to manipulate you into being complacent and convincing you that the buildings actually exist when they don't even exist. And now 12 years later, because you didn't hold them accountable, they're gone in the evil overdrive. Well, I express concerns about Japan's, nice name there, buddy, about Japan's decision to dis discharge contaminated water from Fukushima. State, this is a Chinese guy, professor, stating it and, you know, how much I trust a professor. It should be used for anchors state in, in the ocean, stating that it appears to transfer risk to the global community and could possibly harm future generations from the marine environment. This is a professor, a prestigious professor at a prestigious government Chinese university. A law, a law professor, no less. Not a nuclear one. Nuclear one wouldn't show you that picture. But a law professor. A law professor. Because there's no nuclear scientist that can read or write, apparently. UN. UN. The least credible source on the entire universe, not just planet, but the entire universe is United Nations and any of their subsidies. They're the least credible ones. Not only have they sanctioned the lie, they're the, arbor they're the creator of the lie. You know how many times the United Nations International Atomic Energy Agency has went to Fukushima? It was five times. Every one of them was this year. None in the last 12 years. They're growing food right alongside of one-ton bags of radiation. And there's nobody on the planet fucking worried about that. And Which is, happens to be a couple of miles from nuclear meltdown, surrounded by 14 half the country that's banned worldwide for over a decade, got rid of the people who put those restrictions into place and replaced with pro-nuclear, who lifted the restrictions 10 years later. There's only around 12, 14 left. They'll get there. They're getting there. They just replace anybody who won't play. 14 prefectures, the food was banned for a decade. You really think the only thing that's coming out of Japan is tritium? And if you agree with me that that's not the only thing, then why ain't you fucking busy having this conversation worldwide? 
You really think this is not important? You really think they're telling the lie they're telling because it's not, because it's harmless? If it was harmless, you wouldn't have to make up such an elaborate fucking hoax, would they? Do you really think that the world media, pretending they're in a building that don't exist, is not a big fucking deal? I can assure you it is. According to Shit for Brain Chinese Customs, the measure aims to prevent the risk of radioactive contamination. Really? See, for what about what they're fucking doing here for 12 years? My apologies, they mean to guzzle. Reflex, reflex for yelling. <coughs> Hundreds of South Korean activists gathered and sold a protest tritium. Tritium. I'm going to protest the actual inventories, the uranium, plutonium. No, you're not getting in the media. You, what? You're protesting tritium? <laughs> we'll put you in the next story. We'll write one for you. Fuck. That's great. So all the people that's doing that, they're just cutting everybody's throat in their own at the same time. Definitely their loved ones too. So they get a paycheck and pretend that they're special. Because there's a billion dollars up for grabs. So all I got to do is get up and cut the anti-nuclear's throat a little bit. Hell, they do it to me for free just to get favors down the road. Oh yeah, we fucked Durnford over. <laughs> How about a Christmas bonus? Yes, my son. You get your Christmas fucking bonus this year. I don't lie. I don't fucking hide away from anybody either. According to established international law and the United Nations Convention, <laughs> such a joke. I can't even say it with a straight face. Japan is obliged to protect the marine environment. United Nations, United Nations, which was the League of Nations, right? Pre Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they were so. Fi so proud of herself, she changed her name now to United Nations against all, in, all, everything. If you're not part of the nuclear death cult, you're at the bottom of the rung. And diarrhea is the only thing that comes out of their fucking nurses. The 67th General Conference of the International Atomic Energy Agency to be held in Vienna. Of the International Atomic Energy Agency. It's the sadistic, sadistic, twisted, demented. Established in 1957 for the purpose of promoting, promoting nuclear disease factories. That's their job. Their job not, they're not regulatory agencies. They don't take samples. Their job is to promote it. The only way to promote it is downplay every facet of it. <sighs> Free electricity for all. Uh -huh. No one wants to build nuclear disease factories anymore other than Bill Gates. Fucking piece of shit. One Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, and Fukushima incidents is enough, really. Well, so then Chalk River and Hanford, of course. Hanford dumped 450 billion gallons directly into the soil in the 40s and 50s. <laughs> As equal to a six foot wide aquarium, 518 feet tall, wrapped around the entire planet more than once. In brutal. It's equal to 1.4 million of the 177 tanks they got there now. They spent 35 billion in 17 years trying to build a facility to wrap it in glass because it's so harmless for a billion years. And by the way, anything you put in the glass, glass will break down quicker than steel. <laughs> such, such a lie. Because the Wigner effect doesn't give a fuck if it's glass or steel. It's going to break the shit out of it. Right, the, the neutron bombardment, the gamma shines, the X rays, the the better rays. 
Hey, let's not forget about Savannah River or Santa Susana is equal to 463 mile islands worth of radioactive fallout. Forget all that. Forget wind scale. That was so horrible they changed the name to Sellerfield. Let's forget 30 years of dumping into the ocean that dwarfs. Like each of Japan's reactors, each one of them, dwarfs Chernobyl Three Mile Island together. Each reactor in Japan is worse than every nuclear meltdown in history combined because they had decades of reactor cores that were in the fuel pools and that's why they're faking that the fuel pools weren't harmed. It's hard to comprehend because I've sent this particular picture to Greenpeace and, and their Twitter, every Greenpeace, Greenpeace Canada, Greenpeace United States, Greenpeace Finland, Greenpeace United Kingdom and Australia and Greenpeace New Zealand. I sent it to all the, all of them. Every one of them sites blocked my Twitter account, which still only has around, I think it's 30 subscribers four years later, despite the fact I've been prolific for years. <sighs> The world won't wake up and have a conversation. I figured I'll force it. No, no, that's the truth. We can't say that to you. Know. <laughs> Crazy fucker. Folks, dream of all power of being free someday. Oh, they got it. They actually got it. September 11, 2001 shows that. They definitely got free energy. Why not provide free solar systems with backup batteries for every house? Why not put a geothermal pipe down in the ground and back up. You can buy them yourself and they're called heat exchangers. You can get them on Amazon for around $4,000. It'll keep your house at around 65 degrees in the dead of winter. Japan promotes tourism and food in New York. <laughs> Being evil is not enough, right? They got lots of friends in America, that's for sure. You can count on CNN and uh, Corinne and Cecilia Vega. She's a press secretary at the White House. They can count on her to fuck you over. BBC Rupert Winfield Hayes faked Reactor 4 and Reactor 3 because he's twice as evil as the typical journalist, and uh, the journalists are evil. Seth Dorn is an actual senator's son. All of them took great pleasure in cutting your throat. And then up, all of these are making about a million dollars a year now. Flying all over the world, hanging out with celebrities and superstars and telling them how wonderful they are and how they got awards for it, Fukushima, excellent reporting. That's, that's their excellent reporting, pretending you're in a building that don't exist. I'm disappointed in humanity. And I, I don't think it's wrong to say that I lost faith in it. But there's eight million species that don't got a say, and so my job will never get done, right? Participants enjoy scallop. Like scallop are filter feeders for f filter feeders. Not that far from a nuclear wasteland which bioaccumulate radiation 125,000 times more than a fish does, which is brutally efficient. We want to introduce special experiences related to Japanese food and culture. Yeah, have a, have a bowl of leukemia. Bring one home to your kids. In a video message, a video message, the ultimate insult from a prime minister, Call for support for safe and delicious. I mean, how many times have I heard that narrative about delicious nuclear wasteland rice, delicious peaches, delicious peach juice, Boris Johnson last, just before he got removed, thank goodness. Following the August the 24th start of the release of tritium. Oh, they're in America, look how happy they are. Look how sick and sadistic. Let me show you how sick and sadistic they really are. The buildings actually look like that. Shock. 
How come nobody's showing that? How come all your favorite big bloggers and Joe Rogan and everybody else that I show you that, huh? Ah, they like you so much. They know the fucking difference. They're not stupid. So do you, do you really believe that on August 24th of this year is when something finally got out of the buildings that looked like that in 2011? You really think nothing got out of the buildings? You didn't think that you didn't lose the six reactor cores and the fuel pools at the top of the building, each one of them, there's two of them, and the running reactor cores. Like, reactor four, both of these buildings should be grass right to the ground. There's nothing there. What about reactor one and two with the same attributes? All the re inventories are gone. This is a catastrophic event, and you can't blame it on something that's not. So you got to blame it on what it is, which is the nuclear industry. 80 years of this, and then this massive pulse event known as Fukushima Daiichi. This was a pulse event that shocked the species worldwide and started to the snowball of extinction. Melting down the coalition's clean green nuclear spin. Melting down and nuclear in I think that's a real evi th evil thing to do, something like that, to put the word melting down and nuclear and spin. With fossil fuels fast running out, and I've never heard that one before, by the way. Renew this nuclear push. 12 years on from Fukushima, and there was only 2,300-odd deaths related to the catastrophe. Only 1,400 believed to die in connection with the nuclear accident. There was 12,000 in a single month died of heart attacks compared to a single month any other year in its entire history. And it wasn't just a single month that that happened. Information's everywhere. The documentation's everywhere. I made sure of it, by the way. There's 865,000 cancers in the first year. 865,000 cancers in the first fucking year. Which is only one of 1,800 diseases. Not everybody got health care. Not everybody got diagnosed. And only about 120 billion only 120 billion how many schools and hospitals can you build for 120 billion a one stabilizing the stricken site so far what they're doing is regurgitating un's official narrative right except for the deaths around 2300 workers involved in emergency operation exposed excessive levels of radiation Why are these people so fucking stupid, I wonder? I think it should be legal. We should have, like, concentration camps for stupid people. We can call it Australia or Europe or something, because there's going to be a lot of them. Lord fucking knows there's going to be a lot of them. Sure, there's around 1,600 people that ran away. They didn't quit. They weren't getting fuck all of it anyway. They were getting union pay. They were the homeless and the destitute and the victims of society. The immigrants who don't speak the language. So out of 23,000 people that were on the site, 16,000 people ran away. An increase of cancer is heart problems and liver problems and lung problems and respiratory and pituitary and thyroid and adrenaline and Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, diabetes, Down syndrome, schizophrenia. There's 1,800 diseases and illnesses. Your immune system is compromised, so you're more susceptible to pathogens and viruses that were normally harmless and innocuous and benign to the elderly and the children. Now they're catastrophic. To summarize... Since the world's first nuclear meltdown, Chalk River, Canada, it melted down twice, by the way. They just buried it on the spot. So everything runs into the river, the Ottawa River. 
into the Great Lakes, the third biggest aquifer on the entire planet. Canada, 1952, a host of other calamities. Calamities! Hanford dumped so much stuff in the soil in the, 40, 50, in the 40s and 50s, you can build an aquarium 518 feet tall and wrap it around the entire planet. It's not a calamity. There's a catastrophic event for every species worldwide. You can chase the, the decline of the species to the nuclear industry, blowing weapons up and dumping it in the ocean and doing shit like I just mentioned. Directly to it. And let's, let's be clear, it's not that they don't know what they're doing. Go watch what well, Netflix didn't tell you about Chernobyl on my site. Go watch the presentation, last presentations on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Go watch the presentations on Three Mile Island on my site. I think the one from Netflix didn't tell you that about Chernobyl. I think there's like 900 academic studies of absurd facets that they studied to no end. I have so much contempt for this industry, perpetual disease factory and misery machine, that, misery machine that it actually is. I can't wait for the rest of the planet to wake up and treat it appropriately. Helen Caldecott, who wrote 14 anti-nuclear books. Let me explain Helen Caldecott. Who gave hundreds of mainstream media and high-profile interviews. Here's one. She was asked, does the building look like the one to the right or the one to the left? Let me ask you this. Uh, you've said that uh, if the spent fuel pool in number four collapses, that you would evacuate your family from Boston. Do you think we would ever know the truth of what's going on there? And the reason I ask is because we've seen coverage in the uh, national news media here in the United States from ABC News and others that uh, take video cameras in saying that they're being given exclusive access to number four in the removal of the fuel rods, which is said to have begun. Uh, and, and what we see in the, the video being shared here in America is pristine, a pristine interior building. It doesn't look like a building in which the top blew off in a hydrogen explosion. The Japanese are very tidy people and they have by robot control and by human beings removed the debris from the top of building four and it does look pristine. I can't tell the difference. Looks just like that picture over there, doesn't it? She's done that hundreds of times. Here's another interview about Reactor 4. Let's watch one more, because I never get sick of it. I never get sick of the lies. Let me ask you this. Uh, you've said that uh, if the spent fuel pool in number four collapses, that you would have... Sorry. Uh, building 4 is also similarly fragile and it's got a huge cooling pool on top with all its fuel rods but they have been removing them uh, and it's been a very delicate procedure and they've removed almost... I do it again. Uh, building 4 is also similarly fragile and it's got a huge cooling pool on top with all its fuel rods but they have been removing them. Uh, and it's been a very delicate procedure, and they've removed almost all. So if that collapsed now, I think it would probably be okay. They got a fueling pool on top of the building, which looks like this, at the very top of the building. D do you see a top to the building? You really think Helen Calicott doesn't know what it looks like? D do you really think that... Anybody on the fucking planet can go in there and reconstruct that on top of a meltdown? Because I guarantee you, she doesn't. So why did she say 
The Japanese are very tidy people. Hydrogen explosion. The Japanese are very tidy people and they have by robot control and by human beings removed the debris from the top of building four and it does look pristine. Oh yeah, they got robots up there walking around, Dana. They're called humans. Humans don't walk around, they die in that environment. Don't worry, Arnie Gunnison will there pick up the slack and cut your throat. Fed to everybody constantly, even today. A key figure. A key figure. Yeah, King. A key monster. That's a monster, what she's doing. But don't worry, she sold 16 or 14 of the best selling anti nuclear books on the planet. Everybody runs to her. Well, David, she's a doctor. Yeah. I can show you a doctor. You want a doctor? How about professors? You trust professors, right? There's not many professors, Dan, and they're very esteemed. They're very esteemed people. There's not a lot of them worldwide, Dean. They're very special people. You have absolutely no idea, do you? They're, they're the very last person I would trust. I mean, I mean, here, meet a few of the, this is a fraction of the headlines I got on professors. Here's, here's the reality of professors. There's not many of them. So it's, 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 the interesting question, I'll ask you an interesting question at the end of it. Professor convicted of assault and battery, raping 13-month-old baby. There's quite a few of those professors, aren't there? And they're definitely not all left-wing, I can tell you that much. Professors and rapes, that's a normal one. Convicted of DUI a third time, because they're better than everybody. Convicted of falsifying retirement assets, of attempted theft, attempted theft by swindle. Convicted of sex crimes, the professor can go to Hong Kong. Ex-Ivory League professor convicted and the wife's death is free. Convicted of exposing himself, professors to multiple women's convicted of poisoning wives frauding NASA of almost a million dollars what's a million dollars to a guy like that convicted of spying oh there, there are some doozies convicted of arms exports medical school professor was a Harvard Harvard medical school psychiatrist convicted of abuse He's not in the perfect position at all. Convicted of sharing technologies. Child porn is a big thing with professors, we noticed, though, isn't it? Defrauding the students. XMIT. Staging his own death and collecting. Convicted of stealing 600000 from a Hong Kong jewelry magnet. Uh, former Harvard professors. <laughs> Date, well, they're former because he got fired after. Professor convicted of embezzlement. Convicted of torturing his wife, life in prison. Sex for grade professor, which is a professor of law, blackmailing the students so they become law students <laughs> or lawyers. That's a maniac. Uh, normal, Dan. It's a professor. What do you expect? Professor convicted in grand frauds. All of them should be. Everyone that ever done a study on nuclear should be convicted of grand fraud, shouldn't they? Convicted of defrauding National Science Foundation. Convicted of first degree murder. Convicted of faking vandalism. Oh man, there's some of those doozies out there, isn't it? 
go scratch up the car and blame it on anti-Semitism or blame it on anti uh, university Jewish professor convicted of marketing child porn you, can you imagine how good he's at that <laughs> retired professor sentenced to four years in prison but that was he retired because he got arrested and I got just I got three times that much so for such a small group of people it seems that the majority of them are, are vicious, sadistic, dangerous criminals, don't it? That seems. It's the jail records clearly show. Helen Kalik had a key person in covering up Fukushima and Arnie Gunnarsson and Christopher Busby. Three key people that were used to bludgeon any opposition for many, many years. Dutton favored small modular reactors. Sixteen thousand dollars per kilowatt hour. Solar's a thousand bucks, right? But they don't exist. Why are you hoping and dreaming and waiting when you have geothermal? Australia is truly one of the best spots for geothermal and Canada. Spent nuclear fuel is being reprocessed, recycled. I think it's an interesting point because it doesn't have to be wasted if you don't waste it. Well, the problem is when you try to separate what they, what's known as MOX full mixed oxide fuel, which is reclaiming of the fuel rods or, or bombs or whatever, reclaiming the hot particles, so to speak, uranium, plutonium, the fission products, you're still going to get rid of, you're only going to get 3 or 4% back, right? The rest of it is even worse because you boil it in nitrous acid, you, you gasified a lot of it. So a lot of it used to pump it underground for decades and it became so toxic they couldn't walk underground anymore. So they just decided to build pipes off every single nuclear plant and they can pump that kind of stuff out there because they realized how dangerous it was. So every nuclear plant worldwide has multiple po pump lines going up into the ocean to, to release legally whatever they decide is legal each day. And they also have incinerators on the site. Incinerators on every nuclear site on the planet. And every nuclear fuel pool, there's like a thousand of them worldwide, is hemorrhaging radiation at the, about 120,000 liters out of each one each day out of over a thousand fuel pools. And we're not talking about Andromeda Bay or whatever you pronounce it, the, the former Soviet Union defueling site for nuclear submarines that was abandoned for about 28 years. And the storage pools were outdoors, hemorrhaging radiation. Because everything in a fuel pool, you got to realize, is splitting atoms. And you can't contain it. And that's the, the, the most dirtiest hidden secret of the nuclear industry. And they're, they're desperate that the world doesn't understand that facet of it, or it's bye-bye to every nuclear industry worldwide when the world wakes up and realizes. And now every nuclear power plant that I could find is surrounded by farms, well, 99%, and I got a lot. The venerable, the venerable Will Shackle, who appeared to spend much of his 17 years on the planet, cheer, the time that this young kid recovered from Australia a number of times, a stupid and useful idiot for the nuclear industry, put on a pedestal because he wants to shout to the world the propaganda he sucked in from the nuclear industry. And he wants to make mixed oxide fuel. And so here they are putting this useless or useful idiot on a pedestal to promote spent nuclear fuel. And Japan begins releasing, and you have this video, CBS News, begins releasing. But but the buildings are actually destroyed. It's never stopped coming out of there for 12 years. It hasn't stopped coming out for 12 years. I'll do this again.
the ground is split from the chain reaction, China syndrome reactor one and two. Three and four obviously are gone, but one and two burnt continuously for days, but also went deep into the earth. Reactor one fuel pool was atomized and aerosoled immediately on the first day. The 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 that that's actual steam coming out of the ground, lethal doses at ten sievers per hour at six places where it's coming up through the earth. So as it bioaccumulates over a couple of minutes, you're talking about thousands of sieverts. Three sieverts is a lethal dose. Anybody close to it is going to get a lethal dose. What the hell is thousands of sieverts going to be? What the hell is that going to be? You can't get near that. There is no... And you got people in so-called key positions, the bullet and unconcerned scientists. You got the International Atomic Energy Agency, which is the absolute opposite of what we're led to believe they are. And then they're being used as the authority. They're somehow the authority. They're the authority. These people are the authority. The head of the world's atomic energy watchdogs is understanding the dangers of nuclear reactor. Understating. These are the same Raphael Grossi and the likes, his former predecessors and the rest of them, are people that covered that up. The reason you don't know about that is because of Raphael Grossi's and the UN and universities, all of them, and your medias and all of them. Today, as Japan starts to pour tainted water, tainted water from buildings that had decades of reactor cores, they're at least each equal to 100 Chernobyls. You're going to call that tainted. You're going to call it a leak. And you're going to sit there and take it? We should take note of a recent statement by the despicable, disgusting war criminal and crimes against humanity per purveyor, Raphael Grossi, the Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, which hates the species, hates humans, hates everything on this planet with an absolute vehement and... Uh, after running around telling the whole world nothing got out of that for 12 years and that's your facts that's the guy you're going to use to write your articles with so you can make a fucking dollar and pretend to your friends and your families you're actually human for another little while until the truth finally comes out and they see you in the real horror that you're just a, a low life coward who refused to go get a real job and took the job with international media because it was the easiest gig there. Telling a lie is easy. Telling the truth is the hardest thing humanity can ever do for some reason. The future of nuclear as an alternative energy source relies on the success of Fukushima. The future of nuclear as an alternative energy source relies on the success of Fukushima, said Raphael Grossi at this big meeting. Depends on you never understanding that that's what happened. That's what the future of nuclear energy is. That's what Raphael Grossi just told you. The future of an alternative energy called nuclear relies on the success of Fukushima, Raphael Grossi. Reli and that which means the future of nuclear energy relies upon you never understanding that happened and by proxy stuff like that. I covered the entire planet in radioactive fallout. I can't read it. I'm just too upset. Kishida's cabinet reshuffle fails to raise approval ratings. Anything. There's no lie big enough. They won't tell it to you. 
And that's all they're, in, they're only interested in. Which lie can we use to hide this? Which lie can we use to hide that? And then everybody comes out because the media was bought up by scum like Rupert Win uh, Murdoch and the rest of them. And in increments over the last 80 years, eight decades, the industry has worked diligently to make it impossible for you to have critical thinking skills. Japan's environment, obviously not my regular people. I'm not a... Talking about the world, unfortunately, and my apologies to anybody mistake what I'm trying to say, which I hope you don't. I'm sure you do sometimes, but I hope you don't. I hope you understand the frustration of watching the species disappear. Japan's Environment Ministry says tritium in seawater off Fukushima nuclear power plant remains below the detectable levels. Begin discharge on August the 24th when the buildings don't even exist. The buildings actually don't exist. When does humanity get to have a future? Well, that's right, we don't. They just destroyed it for everybody and themselves included. And their loved ones and their friends and their families. And all they can do is just keep covering it up. Telling the truth is not an option. The minute you tell the truth, the whole fucking house of cards falls down, right? The plumes covered the planet. That never goes away. Your loved ones, your friends, your families, everybody, everything that you covered has been contaminated. And just because you're not dropping dead like flies is only because you didn't look around or you didn't read the local obituaries lately because that's what you're going to see. Canada removed all restrictions on 14 prefectures that were banned by 55 countries after 93 days. 55 countries banned it for a decade. Canada removed the restrictions. So they couldn't ship it to 55 countries but they can ship it to Canada. Where do you think they shipped it? Growing food right alongside of one-ton bags of radiation. And that doesn't vex you. That doesn't worry you. You're talking about a billion pounds just out of Fukushima Prefecture. Try adding up the other 13 prefectures. And the urgency is unbelievable. Still contains tritium, treated tritium. So, like, they're so they're so used to lying that that's the norm. See. So you honestly want me to believe that buildings, the stumps of the buildings, that should have been razed all the way, the rest of the way to the ground, that were 190 feet tall, 19 stories tall, 65 meters tall. 150 feet wide, 50 meters wide, with 6 to 12 reactor cores in the fuel pools of each building, and running reactor cores. And you mean to tell me that nothing got out of those buildings, only 2.2 grams of tritium? You said that in my face, I'm going to kick the shit of you right on the spot. And there ain't a fucking jury on the planet that's going to convict me. Tritium. World Health, and the World Health Organization didn't come in and say, wait a second, no, no, not just tritium, there's other stuff. No, no, they're like, yeah, no, that's right, tritium. And who's the, who is World Health? Oh, that's right, they're UN. Who's the International Atomic Energy Agency? Oh, that's right, UN. Who's UNSCLEAR? Oh, yeah, that's right, it's UN. Who's ERPA? Oh, yeah, you know, it's the UN. So all of them that are backing up the stories are all the same organization. And that's how the world works. How do you work is the big question, I think.
Kick streamer Johnny Somali arrested in Japan after breaking into a construction site. He was going around harassing everybody on on video in real time in Japan. He breaks into a construction site, because that makes a lot of sense, when there's nobody there, walking around on his live stream screaming Fukushima, talking about the Diachi nuclear power plant disaster, on a site where there's nobody, and the police ran in, beat him up, and arrested him. There's Japan, right? That's how they worked there. Instead of thanking him, they, they arrested him. Japan's troubled Toshiba delist after takeover by consortium success succeeds. <laughs> Toshiba, let me see if I can find the pictures. I'll show you how evil Toshiba actually is. And, and, and like you go back through Toshiba's and the nuclear industry's history, my goodness, it ain't pretty. I'm I'm stunned. I'm, I'm heartbroken that the world has this one opportunity, and and they do. It's a hundred percent opportunity, and it's the only opportunity you're ever going to have to have a real conversation, because nobody else is going to show you the documentation. If you don't find it here, you're fucked. Everybody else is going to cut your throat and kick you loose, and you'll be so fucking stupid when you come out the other side. You'll be like. Well, nuclear is great. Oh, I like it. That was amazing. It's like a fucking banana. It's a perpetual disease factory. That's what nuclear is. That's what a nuclear power plant is. And that's what a fuel pool is. They're perpetual disease factories that are flowing radiation into the environment on a, on a rate that is stunning. It's stunning how much we're talking about each day. And they got 30 million one-ton bags in stupid land. They got so much, they can barely grow food there without being right alongside of one-ton bags of radiation. Can I stay on track long enough to find a picture? I don't know. I guess it don't matter. Toshiba. Well, yeah, I can stay on track. Hang on. Maybe I can find it. It's worth waiting for. Hang on. Of all the fucking work I got today, I got to go find a single picture. Well, that's close, but it's not close enough. I got better pictures. I just can't find them. They built this thing over Reactor 3 to pretend, which should have been razzed right to the ground, right? Reactor 3 and 4. So they built these contraptions on 3 and 4 and pretended they got the fuel out of the pool. And then you got people like Arnie Gunnison come out and promoted it. I put the pictures behind them. Which one is real? Arnie thinks it's the one to the left. And he should know because he made the assemblies. He made the assemblies for the fuel pools. And if he doesn't know Reactor 3 and Reactor 4 are gone, now, I who, built, who does? The division I ran built nuclear fuel racks for boiling water reactors exactly like Fukushima. And Unit 4 it has always been <laughs> my biggest concern. If you watched our website, on the very first week of the accident, he came out and I was saying throat that, that if first week. war were to catch fire, you'd have to evacuate Tokyo. I don't know. Does it look like it caught fucking fire to anybody? Because Arnie Gunnison can't tell the difference. Let's ask Boris Johnson. How's the peach juice from Fukushima? Jor Boris? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Delicious. Is this peach juice or what? Yes, what's it is. Nectar, nectar. Okay. This is delicious. Cheers, everybody. Okay. Here's everybody in Fukushima. Delicious. Yum. <laughs> Very. 
Did he even take a little sip? Did he even open his fucking lips? Look at this. Nectar. Okay. He's everybody in Fukushima. Delicious. Yum. <laughs> Very. Let me see. I can't find it. I can't find it. The picture I want. So close. I'm right in the ballpark, but. So. The fuel pool. Of reactor three. Is Toshiba. Reactor three. Doesn't exist. And. Toshiba. Is not fixing or cleaning up. Fukushima because you can't fix or clean up a nuclear meltdown. Thieves may have stolen radioactive metal. The story changed, didn't it? Thieves. First off, the thieves can go into all the banks and, and all the car um, lots that were abandoned, all the guitar shops and all the universities and schools and hospitals and loot them and sell that on the black market and make a billion dollars, which of course is what you've done. Why would you go right into Futabar, which is right alongside the nuclear meltdown, for lousy scrap metal? And by the way, that place is regulated. They have a police force. This was the construction company. And they've been doing it for years and recycling it and putting it back into circulation. Most likely as toys for your children. Because, you know, it's radioactive, and that's how it really works. They actually hate your guts. Fukushima Water released CBS. That's been going on for 12 years. This is the original first release. They say this is the very first release to ever come out of a site that doesn't even exist anymore. A oh, friggin' stupid, stupid, stupid um, industry. And the only way you can work in it is if you're incredibly evil or just stupid. And typically, it's quite a lot of boat. And so what happened when they had a major earthquake a couple of years ago, was uh, around 50 of the tanks shifted position because they were empty. And so they built these contraptions around it so you couldn't get close to it to see that it moved, and also so that you wouldn't hit it and have this big echo in these empty tanks. And we, and we know the tanks are empty because the buildings are long gone. And they claim they got the fuel out of the pools of buildings that don't even exist. And so they... They spend a lot of money, they, they send their reporters there, they stand in front of the tanks and say, they're gonna release tritium. And tritium's okay, it's natural. You talk to some fishermen, they'll yell tritium. Pretend that you can filter it out when it's ludicrous to suggest you can. Eye candy for propaganda. That's what that is and that's what the tanks are. And once they get past this hurdle, they never got to tell this story again, and they can release it for the next 200 years, like they've been doing for 12 straight. And there's no way to survive without putting an end to this disaster right now. And we, we need to send in hundreds of thousands of people to Fukushima. We need all kinds of military deer to take over and get control of management. Scrap metal. This is a special, special, this is a nuclear wasteland. 
2.5 miles from the nuclear meltdowns. Not atomic plants, not special zones. They're a special idiot though, but these are not special zones. They're nuclear meltdowns. They're not no-go zones. Everybody else worldwide calls it what it is, a nuclear meltdown. Nuclear meltdowns. Refusing to use any narrative associated with reality. and claim They actually claim to their friends and families and loved ones and kids and everything else that they somehow got some fucking human attributes. And they probably believe it when they look in the mirror. And they're like, I'm not really a bad... There's people there worse than me, so I'm not bad. They all justify it. You're talking about getting metal from a nuclear wasteland when there's tons of other easy places and much more lucrative opportunities than actual nuclear meltdown. This is the fake cover they put around Reactor 3. It doesn't physically touch it. The building is absolutely destroyed. Speaking of stupid, and this creepy, skank, grace, stank, is uh, Miss USA, and she's a first-year student First year student literally knows fucking nothing about the subject, nuclear student, and now she's put on a pedestal to promote nuclear. And there was a lot prettier, better educated people than her as in the pageant. She got the job because she's looking at nuclear. And Wall Street, the reg, the Wall Street despicable, horrific reg. Restoring the reputation of Japan's fish and seafood following the water release, the water has never stopped coming out. Buildings were destroyed. Just because you rolled out scumbag maggot Gunnarsson and arsehole Gunnarsson doesn't mean it's true. The buildings are actually gone. You can't restore the reputation of humanity for what you've done to it, because that's what you need to do. You can't do that either. China, the largest importer of Japan seafood. South Korea have imported almost 1.5 billion pounds since Fukushima. Don't worry, they're protecting the country. Everybody's sick in a relative sense, nobody is. Claiming again that they're about to release, or they just started releasing waters from buildings that don't even exist anymore. They disappeared 12 years ago. And that everything is in tanks and it's filtered and equal to three grams of sugar cubes, for fuck's sakes. That's it, Dana. Three grams of sugar cube. That's all. That's what the nuclear experts... I know what you're saying. No, Dana, that's not true. The nuclear experts did say something like that. Yes, they did. I'm going to find for you. Science outweighs irrational reasoning. He's a South Korean professor, scumbag professor, at the Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering. Fucking genius, right? And he says the discharges from buildings that don't even exist that had millions of pounds uranium plutonium is like three grams of sugar into the ocean, Dana. That's the official story, by the way, came from right there. The first, well, in English, anyway. And he said, it's equal from buildings that don't exist in the world media's already perpetrated these crimes against humanity in order to uh, make you complacent. The total amount of tritium included in radioactive wastewater is approximately 2.2 grams as of April 2021. So 2.2 grams, well, that's pretty cool. What's that like? 
Well, it's equal to about, if you divide this little flakes of salt that are magnified so you can see with your naked eye, if you expand, divide that by 22, one of them, uh, 22, is just how much they're going to release into the ocean every day from a thousand things. Or if that's too much for your brains, 16.66666 is 0 0.06. Of a gram a year is how much you're going to release, which is equal to one sixteen point six 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 of that one gram coin. Is how much you're going to release each year because everything is contained, obviously, in the tanks. And any, any academics, any scientists, anybody on the entire planet that's seen these pictures, the original pictures, knows that everything got to everything, millions and millions and millions and millions. And millions and billions of grams. And they're saying 2.2. So how do you argue when your opponent is a professor and no less at the Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering? And he says it's like three grams of sugar. So who's going to be, who are you going to believe? You're going to believe Dana? Or are you going to believe the professor? Someone you're sitting around a table and someone says, well, this guy on YouTube and, and other places, he says that a lot more got to. But, and the other guy says, well, actually, a professor at the Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering says it's actually equal to three grams of sugar. And everybody laughs and says, well, obviously, YouTube, fuck him. He's stupid. He's on YouTube. He must be pretty stupid. He's not a professor. And so if a professor is willing to claim that multiple nuclear meltdowns is equal to three grams of sugar, is it a far stretch to think that he's telling students with a high IQ they've got to have sex with them or they're not going to get a grade? How, how big a stretch is that, I wonder? Do you think he's going to hesitate to do that when he didn't even hesitate to pretend that? And do you think the journalist there wouldn't do the same thing? Stop lying to your souls. The division I ran built nuclear fuel racks for boiling water reactors exactly like Fukushima. <laughs> so you can, you can trust him, right? He wouldn't lie to you. He's Arnie Gunnarsson. I put his picture up in the fuel pool. Restoring the reputation after the dump, which has been going on unofficially, if nonstop, obviously, for 12 years, but for actually 50 years because you can't contain it on the site. Although people were allowed to return to the area in 2022 after intense decontamination work by the homeless and the destitute and the victims of society, the immigrants don't speak the language. Radiation levels can be an above normal, and the plant is surrounded by a no-go zone, which everybody else worldwide calls a nuclear wasteland. Unless you're talking about Japan, you're supposed to call it a no-go zone, because they get a little upset if you don't. And evil is everywhere, so people like to walk that tightrope. Uranium primed to extend rally and resurge in a nuclear power. There is no fucking nuclear renaissance worldwide. This is only meant to get you again to buy stocks that are artificially inflated, like you've been doing for the last three years, and then two weeks later the bottom falls, you, you lose all your money, they go on vacation and build new houses and swimming pools with the money you gave them. 75 to $80 a pound by the end of December. Expected. Do you know how many times we heard that over the last three years? First off, there's no, that's what the miners need to make to get the yellow cake out of the ground. And the other yellow cake, because this is how the industry works. So the stuff that comes out of the chain reaction that they don't use for fuel is yellow cake. The stuff that's coming out of the ground that's never went through a chain reaction is yellow cake. So when you say yellow cake is really dangerous, they'll come out and attack you. say, no, it's not. That's the stuff that comes out of the ground. 
It's not gone through a chain reaction. You don't know nothing. You're fear-mongering. I know, because that's what they've done to me. The current levels of $66 a pound, the, the minor companies can't make a, their money back. Right, they got to buy a lot of expensive chemicals to, to filter out the yellow cake at the mining. And all that with chemicals, these harsh, harsh chemicals, they have these great big artificial ponds, all are left to evaporate. <clears throat> into your ecosystem, your water tables, and everything else. Every facet of nuclear is despicably dirty, hideously energy intensive. And the one, the only thing we see in common in the nuclear industry is the lies get bigger every fucking day, yeah. and more exorbitant every time they open their pie holes. China conducts ballast water inspections because they're looking for tritium. They, that's what they're doing. Well, we're checking the ballast. We're not finding that much tritium, so well, you better pay attention to what you're doing over there, Japan. China, South Korea, and Taiwan are working in tandem with the International Atomic Energy Agency in Japan to hoodwink everything on the planet, all coordinated by the International Atomic Energy Agency a.k.a. United Nations, also known as the military-industrial complex. So what did George Bush, degenerate mass murderer George Bush Sr., say about United Nations? He called them New World Order multiple times, right? We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations. A new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. The new world order, UN which is what Dwight Eisenhower had called the military-industrial complex. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influences, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex, and that the potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and persists, and we must never let the weight of the com combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes, and we should take nothing for granted. Only an alert and a knowledgeable citizenry can compel the proper meshing of the huge industrial and military and machinery of defense with our peaceful methods and goals so that security and liberty may prosper together. That's he's talking about who you know, which organization has 195 militaries. United Nations. <clears throat> and just one more. The, I, it's hard to comprehend the military industrial complex, right? I got a couple of different ways I can do it. I just got to think before I start this about uh, the other one I want to show you. Hang on. So we had George Bush, New World Order. We had Dwight Eisenhower, New World Order. Oh, yeah. Hang on. I got two more of that I want to show you. So hopefully it resonates. Yeah, I 
don't know if I imported it. Uh, such is life. I swear I did. I just it's hard to comprehend because I've been at it so long how much stuff I gathered up. And so a lot of the times I have to visually in my brain spot it in order to and so there's another one way one one more way I can check, just bear with me. I don't see it. Because I was looking at it on my other computer this morning. Well, let's go ahead with what I got, right? Let's play that last clip. This is what the military industrial complex done which is United Nations, it, there's a lot, and I can't go through everything with you. But what you should know about the Mil United Nations is what they've done to so North Korea when they changed their name from League of Nations, United Nations, after Hiroshima and Nagasaki. There was a police action, right? And there was a, a TV propaganda blitz for many, many years. It's called MASH 4077, one of them, to promote the so-called police action from the United Nations. So it was millions dead, millions missing, millions in refugee camps, millions unaccounted for, millions of orphans from North Korea, which has been, which was occupied by Japan for 50 years, and they left after Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And for the last 70 years, have been demonized and ostracized from land, sea, and air embargoes from the nations worldwide, aka United Nations. And so they, after September 11, they went to Afghanistan, millions dead, millions missing, millions in refugee camps, millions unaccounted for, millions of orphans, five million orphans. Um, there's um, 18 rapes, 18 suicides a year, and there's something like 29,000 rapes in the military a year. All of that to get 10,000 Taliban. So some of them went over to Iraq. So millions dead, millions missing, millions in refugee camps, millions unaccounted for, millions of orphans. They fired 5.5 million rounds a month for nine years to get the rest of the Taliban from the original 10,000. Some of them broke off and became ISIL where they gathered up 10,000 ISIL. And there was also some of the Taliban that was remaining when it became Boko Haram, and then there was 10,000 Boko Haram. So you had 10,000 Boko Haram, 10,000 ISIL. So to get to 10,000 ISIL, they went to Libya and stuck a stick up Saddam or Gaddafi's ass on TV, live streaming. Right, they displaced Mubarak in Egypt and the rest of them, and, and um, the civil unrest and everything else that followed, destruction of the infrastructure of the company because of it. But, and then they went to, and then they done the same thing, they went over to Syria, and here's Syria, what they done to Syria. They flattened every house that belonged to seven million people, and they exported them worldwide, those people, by the way, so they never go back, the majority of them, or they put them in refugee camps, to get the remainder of the 10,000 Taliban from the couple of decades of carnage from Iraq and Afghanistan and Libya. And then the people that, the, the 10,000 remaining ISIL that was originally here broke up and went to uh, Africa and became Boko Haram, where there's 10,000 of them, where there's millions missing, millions of refugee camps, millions unaccounted for, millions of orphans, millions of refugees. They used hideous amounts of depleted uranium in both of these, or all of these conflicts against apartment buildings and schools and nurseries and hospitals.
10,000 Hamas in Palestine, 5 million refugees in concentration camps, but they can't get rid of the Hamas or kill them even. They're really good at misery, but they're not good at anything else. And that's the United Nations countries that done all of that. Sanctioned by United Nations, which doesn't have sovereignty over anybody's country. But collectively, 195 militaries can't exist without misery. Misery is the only service that they offer. And they got endless jackals to come out and slowly and methodically indoctrinate you everywhere you go. In your schools, your libraries, your universities, your music industry. These are the people that are put in charge of the jackals. And they're allowed to prey upon your loved ones in return for hoodwinking as many as they can. And so this cycle now, 80 years straight, has jeopardized the future of humanity and the 8 million species. And you're left with no choice. You really only got one choice. And the choice is to not acquiesce your future and everybody else's away by having a conversation, by, by getting educated, by not acting... inappropriately but by acting responsibly and you're all capable of it everybody out there is incredibly capable your voice is the most powerful thing on we the are planet. here inside reactor four at the fukushima daiichi nuclear power plant that was severely crippled right so she's not there but she makes a million dollars a year by doing that but she could probably only make a hundred thousand by being honest And she doesn't see the carnage that comes from those words, from that deceit, from... Like, if you woke up at 8 billion people, if you had a meteorite coming at your planet, 8, p 8 billion people are going to be going like, hey, we could actually do this, or we can do that. But if you can't see it, you can't, can't come up with a solution. And that's why Fukushima is you can't see that because that's what you see. You don't see that. You see this. And now we have an extinction-level event playing out this is a video I took on a long lonely trip And so, tomorrow, I should be out on that boat. My truck is ready. And how long have we been waiting? Almost a month. It's going to cost me a fortune, and I don't have a fortune. <laughs> we got to get back out and start to research expeditions where there's still good weather. Uh, the migratory route is still in full swing. There's 46 million birds missing from the migratory route again this year. Now, if they showed up somewhere else, is it safe to say 
that there'd be reports, well, 46 million birds have showed up where they're not supposed to be, and nobody knows what to do. Something. You would hear something, wouldn't you? Unless something wiped out the food chain. One of the few things can do that is called radioactive fallout. We launched research expeditions from Vancouver, British Columbia to Alaska for six years. And what we done was we went in and we checked the health of the species. The species to your left are missing. They were exterminated by multiple nuclear reactors melting down. They actually melted down and the plume covered the whole planet. It never stopped. It never went away. Think of a snowstorm that starts in your top left-hand corner. And the snowstorm after 19.6 days in your bottom right-hand corner covers the entire planet. But it never stops snowing, the snow never melts, and the snow never goes away, it never stops snowing. And it does this for millions of years. Now take the word snow out of the equation, call it radiation, and you got yourself a good old fashioned extinction level event. The species to your left are exterminated. Now I've done this for six years, four to five months a year. And I can guarantee you it is no fun to do what I've done. And that the entire time I was doing the field research studies, I was assaulted, I've been shot at, I've been attacked, and I was demonized and vilified, arrested, smeared by major medias, up to 1,600 worldwide, by scum, degenerate bloggers from the pro-nuclear community that stalked me, harassed me daily for years. <clears throat> I came into my community, took pictures of my home, pictures of my vehicles, pictures of my license plates, and gave fucking maps to come to my house and call me a monster, hoping somebody would come and kill me. And I got text messages the people telling me they were going to come and take a fucking blowtorch to me if I didn't stop talking about this. And I've done the research, and so how am I not supposed to fucking talk about it? France acknowledged the West Coast and, or the Northern Hemisphere got hit by 10 million Beckwolds, a cubic meter of cesium-137, for goodness sakes. After years and years and years of doing research expedition post Fukushima, Vancouver, British Columbia to Alaska, four to five months a year without coming home, not finding the species, and somehow I'm the bad fucking guy. It's too much to believe. But I'm not out of the game yet. <coughs> you haven't got rid of me yet, fuckers. <coughs> I had three fucking heart attacks in February and seven stents put in. The day I got out of the hospital, the fucking day after 21 days in intensive care unit, the day I got out of the hospital, I got on this fucking show for two hours, and I haven't stopped since. We're in an extinction event, and it's time for the world to make a fucking stand, because you ain't going to get another opportunity. This gig only comes once. It's your fucking watch, and you should be proud to get the opportunity to come out and fight for those fucking species. You should be thrilled. And you'll be immortalized by your loved ones if you do the moral and ethical thing and be honest and hold this industry accountable. You will come out on top, I guarantee it. They're murdering you in your supermarkets worldwide because they're worried you're going to wake up and spoil their disgusting legacy. See, the industry knew from the very inception how toxic the emissions from these lethal disease factories actually was. The United Nations has worked diligently to fuck you out of a future. There's many people that had to participate. All the universities had to participate. All, all of them worldwide. All the governments worldwide had to participate in the life for this to work. All 
all of your media had to participate for the law to work, all of them. And then they got tons of useful scum to roll out. They come across as incredibly reasonable people, but are absolutely sadistic, demonic, hateful scum. That now you got to fight for your loved one's future or just for this earth's future. And boy, you should fight with everything you got. Because you ain't got much and you're running out of time. I was going to do a two hour. I'm going to let it go here because I'm, I mean, I'm tortured that the world is silent. I can't even live stream, not because of restrictions from YouTube or from Rumble, but because of restrictions from the nuclear industry. Nuclear industry has come out and give me gag orders for three and a half years, dragged me into court over a dozen times to bankrupt me, and then gave me gag orders so I couldn't tell you who the fucking scum actually were. <coughs> anyway, that's all I got tonight. <laughs> That's what I got for you tonight. And it was late getting this show finished, so it means it's going to be absurdly late by the time you see it. I'm going to try to get it up on our regular 10 p.m. schedule, which we've been struggling with since August the 24th, when the massive public relation campaign, billion dollar public relation campaign kicked off. The only real opposition they had was me. And so they squat me like a fucking fly. And I can't even get out and do research. Well, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have the truck. The truck's supposed to be finished this afternoon. The, the actual transfer case is fixed. The only thing left to do is I got two bad tires that we got to try to patch up because I can't afford to fucking buy real ones. And we want to get that boat in the water. We want to get out and start researching every day. I still got to get front-end work done. We're going to have to order in the parts. And uh, it could be a week before that shows up. But I'll have the truck back tomorrow if I can afford it. I'm close. But I, I still need to raise money. We still, and on top of that, we still got to put fuel in the fucking boat and the truck to get it to the ocean. And it's just... The industry got a billion dollars to fuck me over. Because they ain't got nobody else to pick on, basically, is how I'm seeing it. And I ain't going fucking nowhere. We'll see everybody on the other side. Have a great day. Hugs for you and your loved ones, your friends, your families, your pets, anything that's important to you. Because the industry is going to deny you a future. All you got to do is hold them accountable. Lord fucking knows I provide you with enough documentation to do it on your own. But I'm here for you every day that I can. I've never stopped. I've never slowed down. And the nuclear industry will come to fucking regret what they've done to me. By proxy, what they've done to us. You have a great day. See everybody tomorrow night for the last show of the week. Don't miss it. It's probably going to be a fucking doozy. Take care.